Hey guys, good morning. How's it going? It's NTP Need the Producer. Uh, today I'm back with another video. So, um, uh, with this series, I'm going to be covering my top three um, vocal effects plugins that I use. Basically, um, basically uh, all the plugins that I use on my vocals and uh, and stuff like that. So, um, the first one would be the AutoTune Pro. Uh, from Antares. Um, the second one will be the harmonizer and um, the third one will be the CLA effects. So those are the three, uh, my top three um, vocal plugins that I use. Um, you know, I use more, I use a lot of um, vocal plugins, uh, you know, but uh, especially this, these three have, you know, are definitely my top three. So we're gonna go and cover it. First of all, uh, you know, I'm gonna start with the auto tune and tariffs. You know, uh, everybody know auto tune. You know, auto tune is like, you know, uh, industry standard. Everybody use auto tune. And I find the uh, I find the auto tune uh, to be very very um, helpful and uh, to kind of tune the you know what I'm saying tune. Uh, you know your voice and stuff like that is more like a i look at auto tune as an instrument you know what i'm saying i look at auto tune uh, as the instrument so you know uh today um i'm gonna dive uh, uh into the auto tune pro and kind of talk about it more um uh, because uh you know i wanted to do a separate um, video about auto tune for a while but um uh today you know we're gonna dive into that so uh auto tune pro you know what i'm saying auto tune pro uh which you want to like using, you know, just you know, one tune in my vocal. And also, you know, it helped me sing in different keys, you know, and, uh, you know, certain keys and stuff like that. I just kind of use the auto tune on it. It really do a good job. Um, so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn around and screen share it. Just like how you guys know, um, I do the, you know, I cover the plugin first and then, uh, you know, I take a, I talk about the pricing later. But uh, um, sometimes I'll be switching it up. I do the pricing first and stuff like that. But with this particular, uh, you know, with this particular video, we're going to do the, we're going to go ahead and dive into the plugin first. I'm going to be using my vocal um, as examples and stuff like that. So just kind of bear with me, bear my singings, I know. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, guys. Uh, we're in now. So, um, man, this interface is so beautiful. That's crazy. I like the graph and everything. So, uh, you know, let's talk about the graph a little bit. You know, we're gonna dive into the vocal. We're gonna dive into a lot of things today. No worries. Uh, but you know, let's talk about the graph a little bit. So, right now, and I got I got tracking. You got a soprano, alto, male instrument, and bass. I put it on these two, um, soprano and alto, which is like, you know, my favorite. I go to male sometimes, that's like if I wanna do a background vocal that have like more bass and stuff like that, I kinda just kinda use that. Uh, my vocal preference that I use, uh, alto, tenor, and soprano. And um, this is the key uh, that, you know, the, of the voice that I'm going to be covering. And uh, it's a major key, you know what I'm saying? That is, uh, there are, um, there are major and minor chromatic, uh, all kind of um, all kind of keys. Uh, you know, chromatic, linear. I don't even know what is this. Honestly, to be honest with you guys, I never use like all this. I try like few, but this is a lot. I, I, <laughs> I just need my things to be either minor, a major, or minor. That's it. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, I know some some guys they like you know go crazy, but uh, you know that's cool. Ain't <laughs> nothing wrong with it, but me i just want to have like you know once a minor uh, i just got a key is a major let's go uh i got a default um uh, effects right here so basically default just mean like you know the you know the the original preset and stuff like that uh that you you left it on uh you got auto tune you know uh factory uh you want a classic hard mode and stuff like that uh they got a uh, brand brand i think brand fires on um, vocal uh brand fires vocal uh, no nah, I'm, I'm tripping i don't know who is this guys <laughs> don't come at me in the comments and be like uh, i don't know who is this guy i don't know who's bands <laughs> okay guys <laughs> so uh, just I, I i thought it was brand fires because you know i the b word the b um 
the bands just kind of throw me off a little bit, but yeah, but I like Brent Fires. Just shout out to Brent Fires, man. He's like, he's like a good, you know what I'm saying? One of my favorite R&B singers. Anyway, so um, female vocal style, flow, eye highs, uh, lyrics, you know, all type of stuff. You can choose all that stuff. We gonna we gonna we gonna play with it, guys. Don't worry. We gonna try a few. Um, we gonna try a few of those things, and uh, you know, these are kind of the options. So uh, you know, we're still talking about Anifish. So um, you could save your preset, and uh, you could do all kind of things with it. It got modern and classic mode. You know what I'm saying? You could go on classic and uh, uh, modern. Uh, let me, uh, you know, shorten this. Let me see. Uh, this thing I do a lot, which um, you know, that's only um, uh, for preference uses. But I usually put my stuff on low latency. Basically, I don't want no uh, no delay in uh, how much light like, in how you know i don't want no delay in how the auto tune can pick up my vocal i want my i want i want the auto tune to pick up my vocal very fast so you know that's why i usually use uh uh um low latency uh, sometimes i don't use it this is the graph mode and uh, this is just to show all kind of graph and stuff like that uh preference let's click here and see uh, i don't even mess with this uh you, you could have the light uh, you could have the system or you could just turn it to dark i just i like the i like the black effect so i just kind of leave it like that all this i don't really uh you know touch those things but um uh let me see uh you know all these options guys you could play with it you know but i i just want to you know once one one event i'm recording i don't do all this stuff uh, I just kind of uh, go to the preset that I usually use. Uh, it got vibrato. You can either activate it or, you know, deactivate it. All right. Just kind of bear with me for a little bit. I'm going to play the vocal. We're going to go with it. I'm just going over, you know what I'm saying, the end of the end of his, uh the plugin and what it looked like. Vibrato. I talk about this uh, in a lot of my videos. Uh, what I use the ship to sing now and I used to use uh, the old auto tune that used to look uh, way different like uh, than that I think I had like one of the I think auto tune uh, I think eight or seven one of those auto tune but the graph was different um, they still had this kind of option but it's different mm. sorry guys now they add more um, now they add more options which is very cool so um you know, they got formats, they got amplitude and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, you can kind of mess with it. But, uh, you know, let's jump into, this is uh, a raw vocal uh, uh, recorded with a 1073 in uh, the WA2A. So I'm just going to play this vocal uh, without the auto-tune, so just kind of bear with me. Uh, all, right. <laughs> all right, let's go. It got some effects on it and I uh, got like a uh pro q3 and uh, stuff like that so i kind of left the effects uh, i'm t i'm gonna turn off some of the effects yeah i'm gonna turn off i'm gonna leave the reverb on so let me just kind of play <laughs> it's my vocal guys and and um all right cool so now let's apply the auto tune to see what it sounds like okay without the auto tune without the auto tune I'm using the ship, you know what I'm saying? Uh, also, you guys, you got to tune your... Um, to use this, you know, if you, if I play, like, in a different keys, it's not going to work uh, like that. So you got to make sure the key you're singing in, uh, which I'm going to play the melody, that's why the melody is very important uh, when it comes to use the uh, auto-tune because you got to make sure like, that you in key. So here it is. So 
So the key is in B sharp major. So, you know, using the auto tune, find the keys of that and uh, and uh, and then singing that key, cause uh, you know, cause I think you know that way uh, is this is easy to use. You could anybody can do this. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta find the keys. Even though you're, you, even though if you can't sing, you're not that good of a singer. You could just apply the auto tune it, it, automatically. It just kind of. Uh, it will kind of push correct that thing, but it's more like I look at this plugin more like a synthesizer that you know what I'm saying that f uh, help your voice. I mean, if you can't really sing, it will just do a best to kind of fix the you know to kind of help you uh, help the vocal sit. You know what I'm saying? It's different way they use it, um, but um, I usually like to put my speed return on zero. But um, you know, I'm gonna be playing the vocal and kind of reducing the speed return so you guys can kinda hear what's going on. I'ma leave the, the melody on so you guys can kinda hear it. Let's play with the flex tune. Uh, let's, let's play with the vibrato a little bit. So basically, the humanize just gives you like a more, it, it kind of reduce the robotic effects, um, you know, and just leave it to the tune. You're still gonna feel the robotic effects, but you know, uh, especially the return speed that I put on zero, uh, you're gonna kind of hear that uh, that robotic sound. But uh, humanize, you know, that's what it kind of do. If I take it out. Let me take out the the shit. Uh, let's go to um, let's go to uh, yeah, let's go to advanced. So I like this because it can show you the keys. This is to freeze it. You hold it. This, this is so cool. It's like. It's like it shows you all the keys you you, you messing with around, <laughs> like <laughs> from negative hundred to plus hundred, and this is pretty dope, man. I like this. Um, um, let me see. Uh, let me keep going. They say ignore the vibrato, so let's do that. Uh, let's put it back. On. The delay wise, let's, let's let's add this. Let's play with this. 
see the ship. I usually, you know, when I do a live video, I usually tell you guys about the ship and stuff like that. So when I'm singing, my origin is always on this, uh, this ship because uh, a ship because uh, I like when I'm hearing the night, uh, high notes, I want my vocal to vibrate and have a little delay on that pitch. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's why I really like the, um, the I really like the, the ship effects that um, it usually gave me. Uh, so that's why every time I'm singing is on this one. Like, you know, I'm gonna play this one and I'm gonna go this and I'm gonna go on the third one and I'm gonna turn it off. Let's go. So now let's go to the second one. You see, that's a little, I mean, for me, it's a little too much, so. Stuff like that, so. That would be like a, uh, you know, that would be like a, a sound, like like a song that I, spe if I'm trying to use in a specific song, I think I did that in the song, but, uh, you know, but that would be for later. But, you know, I kind of, you know, this is for you to just kind of mess with, you know. It ain't no specific rule to this. And, you know, I'm just kind of show you how, why, why I usually do with it. So let's go with this. I'm back to normal now. This is the graph. So when you go in graph, basically, graph is not that you not in tune. It just, it just about to, uh, it just about to give you a different, um, uh, like you know, this. I don't really, I don't really mess with. I don't usually do this because I can already do it in Logic, which I'm gonna show you guys in a few. Uh, which um, you know I. I just find it. I I don't think I, I you know I, I I already do. I usually just lose logic stuff. Let me just show you guys right now. Uh, so to go on the graph, you just go right here, and uh, it just kind of pitch flex. You pitch flex the sound. So let's see. Uh, um, so go to this little pen right here. All right, and you go to flex pitch. And you know that's the graph I use. I don't use the auto tune graph. I personally don't use the auto tune graph. And you could just kind of use this to uh, fix the note and stuff like that, just to your preference. Trust me, your favorite artists do this too. <laughs> Trust me. It, I, I, you know, you got great singers out. A lot of people sing very good, but sometimes you just they just want that little effects. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, shout out to T Pain, man. T Pain is one of my favorite. Uh, uh, you know, he's like one of my favorite singers. Shout out to T Pain. Uh, T Pain, T Pain can sing without auto tune, and you know, and then he still use auto tune, and that's so cool to me, man. Uh, and T Pain, you know, what I'm saying T Pain made auto tune cool. So shout out to T Pain. I like T Pain. Uh, I like T Pain. Uh, you know, this music, everything is pretty cool, man. Shout out to T Pain. Anyway, so um. Now um, that's what I use. So I don't use uh, I don't use um, what's it called? I don't use the the auto tune graph. Um, I don't use the auto tune graph. So I just use the the, the logic graph. So I'm gonna back off on the graph, and um, you know, don't worry, guys. I'm really gonna dip dip into the auto tune today. I'm not gonna just do a little short video. We're gonna really dip into this. Uh, I like auto tune. This is like one of my, especially with singing, is like the main, uh, the main plugin. Without these plugins, uh, yeah, man, um, <laughs> you guys know where I'm going. Anyway, so um, now I'm gonna try to play with different things right here. Uh, before that, I'm gonna show you guys that the transposing and the tune, and we're gonna go to the mixing, and then we're gonna, you know, end it with. Uh, uh, with this one right here, so let's go, let's keep playing. Alright, let's transpose real quick. Very 
pretty cool, right? This is why I was doing in a song. Uh, I do this and I, I started, I be doing this a lot, you know what I'm saying? Especially majority of my song. If you're watching all you know, the breakdown from the vocals and uh, the beats and stuff like that, especially the vocal, when I'm breaking out the vocal, you know, I did talk about this, when I talk about uh, Autotune Pro. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Actually, it's a lot of video um, about me just, uh, I feel like I be breaking down a lot of things, especially when I'm doing the vocal breakdown. But, you know, since I'm started doing the screen share now, I try to do things uh, individually so you guys can see what I'm using and how I'm doing it. So that's um, that's pretty much it. But, uh, uh, you know, so that's the 12. Now let's go all the way down. So that one, it gives you the highest note uh, that you can possibly can. And this one to give you the lowest note, uh, the lowest, uh, the lowest note you can possibly can. So let's go to that. Okay, guys. So that's pretty cool, right? Pretty cool stuff. You know what I'm saying? I like this plugin because I have. It's so fun. Like this plugin is is not not boring. Like you know, it's auto tune. You know, uh, it's not boring. You know, like I can. That's why I can just use this auto tune. Play with a lot of things while I'm recording. Is this is so much fun? I'm telling you, this is like uh, this product. I would give it a ten out of ten or twelve out of ten to be honest. Because <laughs> um, yeah. Um, now um. Let's go to uh, let's go to play with some preset. It might mess up my vocal a little bit, but you know I don't use this preset to be honest. But uh, I don't rely on them because I can just tune my stuff and know what key I'm in and stuff like that. But you know let's kind of mess with this preset a little bit. So I'm gonna just play the song. <laughs> I just find this out to be honest. Um, you know, you know, you can do the transposing things, but you could just press high active, octave, and it would just take you to uh, to the high thing. Oh, this is something I just learned too. Wow, I didn't know that. I was just using, <laughs> I was just, just like I said, like I don't be diving into the origin options. I do with other plugins like reverb and, and and stuff like that, and um, you know, compressors stuff like that. But this. I don't even touch the options, but nah, this is crazy. I ain't going to click that 12 thing again. I'm just coming here. Damn, that's something new. I just found out. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go to a low act real quick. Oh. No, it's not. Okay, so, uh, man, what's going on? Uh, click something else. I'll be back. Sorry, guys. Oh. Okay, so this is a low. Just go right here. Oh. Just the wrong way. Go right here. Yeah, just go right there now. I ain't going. That's crazy. So let's go to the lyrics. It's a lyrics. <laughs> I get it now it just kind of brings out more about what you're saying 
more than just kind of giving you the effects. That's that's what I'm assuming. But uh, if anything else, just drop in the comment to just kind of um, explain what it is. But that personally, I just think that's what it does. So uh, I think it just kind of bring out the words that you're saying and stuff like that. <laughs> Good for people like me that have an accent. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, let's keep going. Um, now let's try rap heavy melodic. Uh, yeah. Uh, I probably won't use that because I don't rap. So, man, this thing is freezing on me. <laughs> don't froze. Don't froze on me. Yeah, what the heck? Oh, man, what's going on, man? Hold on. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, my, I think my mouse is dying. I have not charged this thing in three days. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through all these things. Man. If I if I did, did <laughs> the video I, video probably won't be over. But you know, I think like certain vocals is just meant to like start recording like like the Ablis rap, the rap Alice and stuff like that. I don't think it's meant for like a vocal like that. So you could just kind of record and put the effects. I think it's probably why you record it in. Actually, say one of flow. I mean, you know, I think it's just like kind of gives you uh, that preset where you could kind of use while going in, but and kind of impressing it that that effects like you know straight up like something like that like uh, uh, stuff like that. So I don't think it's just, it's just meant f uh, after you record. Some of them are, but you know, uh, just tell me what you think in the comments. You know, what I'm saying I really appreciate it. But anyway, so let's uh, keep going. Uh, Little heady magic. Malamante, place after Bezos. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Uh, jealousy. <laughs> okay, this is cool. Uh, yeah, guys, just kind of you can actually have your own preset on and create your own preset of uh, the oil, uh, and then have that set, and then you can uh, always use that. Um, you know, every time you you, you want to use uh, your the this, the auto tune uh, and stuff like that. So. Uh, that's pretty much it guys um, I think you know if you know this is a lot of things you know uh, this is just a brief uh, cover and stuff like that uh, of the auto tune uh, so this is just a little brief cover I, I just overall my, my my honest opinion this plugin is just so fun it's so much fun it's meant to have fun do music um, confidently you know what I'm saying sometimes I you know sometimes I be liking a little confident and stuff like that and stuff but you know especially singing but you know when I put this thing on I'm like oh okay cool <laughs> all right so you know everybody you know just kind of you know make you however it make you feel what I feel this plugin made me feel good to be honest the feeling uh, I could usually describe is just feeling good and and feeling fun to be honest so that's uh, all I can say about this plugin. Uh, shout out to AutoTune and Tyrus. Uh, I think it was made by um, uh, I forgot the name of who made it, but uh, 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 let me see. Uh, Cause I usually, I usually like to uh, uh, just give me a second. I'm gonna try to Google this real quick. Uh, like to just kind of give the uh, information, so you guys. Uh, uh, you know, I think Andy Hill Brand. I mean, if I say his name correctly, so I think that's I think with Technic Grammy, he you know, guys, I'm gonna put a link there so you guys can read about you know the stuff like that. So, but uh, you know, you know, he invented a, a very great machine, man, and I think. You know, I went to a studio one time. They actually have the entire uh, uh, rack over there. I was like, wow, this is crazy. This is pretty dope. So, um, now, um, 
you know, let's talk about the pricing like we always do. So with this one right here, um, I mean, you know, uh, to be honest with you guys, what I would suggest, I'm not, this is just preference, personal pre uh, preference. What I would suggest is do the, is do the monthly trial because um, you just pay like one, I think I paid like 125 last year. This year I paid a little bit more because I didn't really, I paid like 190 for the subscription. And it kind of give you all the auto tune. It gives you effect, vocal effects. It gives you everything right. It like, it gives you like majority of the stuff. You know, let me just show you guys. Um, let me see. Uh, I'm uh, just gonna share with you guys in a minute. <laughs> uh, I'm in a session, just kind of, I was working on a song. Uh, but yo, this song ain't gonna be out until something. But uh, I just want to sh show you guys. Um, mm, uh, so you guys can see. If you can't see it here, don't worry about it. Yeah, the link will be in the description. But what I'm trying to say, if you go to Antares, it gives you all these plugins right here. It gives you mic mode effects, harmony engine. Uh, what like uh, Vax, a Vax, all type of stuff. So, you know, that's that's what I would personally do because in the past, when uh, I purchased AutoTune, uh, when I purchased AutoTune, uh, I have lost my key. Man, that key, I'm gonna have to tell a story about um, the Isla key that I have. Man, it's a long story. You guys, yeah, you're gonna laugh, but that's for another day. Uh, it's a little personal, but I, 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 you know, you know, as we go along, I'm gonna definitely tell you guys about uh, my old eye luck and what happened to it. But um, you know, this is new one. I got this one, uh, uh, 2022. But that's what I was, I would personally suggest. But um, um, if you like, nah, I just want to own the product. You, you know, you just go to, on on, um, you know, um, sweet water. And right now is like four. 459 so 450 you know what i'm saying and they got all this here very pricey by the way uh 70 79 but uh either how many engine that i'm going to cover next you know let me not jump the gun but you know since it's all in one package and just do a little preview uh about 300 dollars man uh, but you know that's what i would suggest but if you like nah nate i just you know just want to go for it and uh, just get a let's see if we get a get a actual entires and, and own the whole thing and once you buy it one time you own it for forever whatever then you just go there but uh for me personally you know i i, I think like that but but once i you know when i got this i'm like you know what let me just pay it uh, uh, uh yearly one year and uh you know i don't have to pay every month just one time for the whole year one time for that i just kind of use all i have access to all the plugins and stuff like that so that's just a suggestion uh that's just but they got a lot of things i will put the website of entaris and uh guitar uh, uh sweet water uh you know in case you want to you know you want to purchase they uh you know i'm gonna put both link in the description so you guys can you know kind of check it out and uh you know stuff like that but um yeah guys so this is just a brief uh you know what i'm saying summary of the auto tune and tariffs you know what i'm saying and uh i've been using this plugin on all my song and uh you know i know uh, and uh this plugin is pretty dope all your favorite artists use it and uh you know uh watching a video on um on chris bar engineer i like to watch you know like his video like missing the master and stuff like that I'm, i still watch you know jason joshua all those guys like they are great and you know he they um uh the chris bar engineer i forgot his name if you have his name just drop in the comment uh he was talking about how he um he used all uh, the auto uh, auto tune on chris brown vocal that was pretty cool interesting but yeah guys so you know, my opinion about auto-tune is, I already told you guys, it's very dope. It's very, give me a nice effect. So now, uh, next, I'm going to talk about the Harmony engine, you know. So that's, you know, just, you know, that's one thing I'm going to be talking about next. And uh, this is the first one, uh, vocal effects. If you like this video, you found it very helpful, you know what I'm saying? Drop a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, comments. And uh, appreciate you. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.